Hello and welcome. You can see a used piece of furniture right in front of me. It's painted white. It's wood painted white. And I got a sponge here. Uh, no specific brand. It's one of those micro, micro something sponges. The, the correct name of this sponge was appearing on the screen magically at this very moment. I have no memory of how they are actually called. All I know is if I rub it my fingers, uh, my skin on my fingers will be pretty thin after a while. And we're just gonna see whether these things can remove this kind of dirt, which I'm not exactly sure what it is, or if they're actually just gonna scrape off the paint. Before we start, let me just try to remove some of it using paper and water. It's not even, not even lukewarm. It is working, but it takes quite some pressure and time. But I believe it does leave the paint intact. Let's try that one more time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, I'm just smudging it all over the place. This was 30 wipes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. What, what, did I did I lose count? Am I that bad? Anyways, it works a little bit. Uh, from the camera's angle, it seems to be a bit better, but it is quite dirty. So that's a lot of effort. Let's see how quick we can get rid of this stain. I am, I am impressed. I am not mildly impressed, I am, I am impressed. So far, the color seems not to go off. Another question, of course, is how, how much of this are we gonna use up for that? But color me impressed, or rather decolorize me. Decolorize me clean of dirt of non-impressiveness. Oops, leaving the field of view of the camera here. Okay, let's attack this big spot. Oh my goodness, this is great. Interestingly enough, uh, it, it looks even better off camera. Oh, and this, this weird yellow spot, which I have no idea what it is, not coming off. Okay, let me, let me try. This is quite yucky. Let me try a completely new... This looks really nasty. Let's try a completely white. Nope, nope, this is not coming off. But they are my least concern, to be honest. Uh, all right, I'll just keep using that for the most dirty parts, for the dirtiest of parts. Let's just zoom out a bit. I made it a little darker, but now you can see the difference a little better. Okay, I think it's time to cut off a piece. Okay, I have not been training this, as you can tell. Don't let this hit the floor. I mean, uh, don't let this fly away and... I gotta keep track of these, because, I mean... They are strong. I shouldn't be making such small pieces of that. All right, good enough. Let's keep going. Let me just collect these, put them in a safe place. Let's see, uh, I guess, this area. Now well, let's try this. Okay, so this is actually like a hole, so I'm not gonna be able to fix that. <laughs> but I think I'm gonna be able to clean up this corner completely. Ooh, beautiful. 
the dirt just gets trans transformed into a sponge like, I don't know, pencil and uh, rubber. Okay, these, yeah, these are also dense in the paint. This is not gonna be fixed. But wow, the improvement is massive. And so far, no paint scraped off, which was my main concern. I was actually not, uh, oh wow, it's really ugly again. I, w I was actually expecting it to work well, but I also was worried it would scrape off the paint, which is, it does not. It does not damage the texture of this piece of furniture. Oh, and this works even better. I was going uh, not with the grain so far, most of the time. Going with the grain is even better, I think. Another, yeah, another piece of, piece of hole. Same here. This piece of furniture has seen things. It has seen some wild times. All right, let's cut off some more. This is nasty, nasty, good and effective. I don't know if I'm doing this right. Don't fly away now. I also don't remember how much I paid for these sponges, but I'm pretty sure it's worth it. And I mean, I prefer doing this over painting uh, the, the furniture, the cupboard. What is it? I think it's a kind of, it's a nightstand. That should be international enough. So uh, I am already looking forward to the before after video comparison, picture comparison. This area is done. Okay, uh, there are a bunch of holes here. This should be completely clear except for the yellow spots, which I think are from like teapots. Uh, lots, much of this, I think the dirtiest parts are from wax. Yeah, these are all ind uh, in indented. I'm not gonna be able to fix these, I believe. Yeah, all right, let's start with this side. So at, in the beginning I was counting how many wipes it takes. It uh, might, I mean, it, no, it's, it's much faster. I counted the first time I used it, uh, it was 30. I used with this after having tried 60 with just paper and water and the result was much better. So it took me half the amount of wipes to get, I would say, 10 times the result. So that would be 20 times more effective. To put, it, to put it into mathematical terms. Okay, let's see. I think we can clear out this area a little. <clears throat> yep. Is this anything we can clean? Mm, don't think so. No, nope, neither is this. I think we are done with three quarters of this. Time to do this area. I'm just gonna keep using this. My, oh my, would you look at that cleanliness. So this nightstand has seen some stuff. 
but wow, we made it unsee so many things. So many things have become unseen thanks to this spongy, pon spongy sponge. Filthy, nasty, but so worth it. So we're just gonna use this side to try to get the last bits of dirt out of here. Mm. Off camera there's a bit of wax here. Not much I can do. I used the coin to wipe it off earlier. Nothing in the back, nothing on this. Okay, there's a little bit of, tiny bit of wax here. Tiny bit more. Yeah, that would be it. So my question in the beginning was whether this sponge can actually do something about this nasty thing. I mean, the thing it was before, we fixed it pretty much. And yeah, these things are magic. Probably relatively wasteful in some terms, but fantastic results. Micropore, microporous sponge, I suppose that might be the correct term, but hey, post will fix it. All right, I'm just gonna put this back into this plastic wrap because I don't really trust it all that much to not clean things it doesn't, it's not supposed to clean. So that was it for this little demonstration. I hope you agree that this is a fantastic result considering the state it was in before. And uh, I hope to see you in the next video, so subscribe and all that good stuff. Give this video a like and share it with people. Let's consider that you already know about these things and you need to convince somebody how crazy useful they can be. Then you should totally send them this video. I'm impressed. See you next time. Until then, ciao!